What's up guys, welcome back to our classic zombies game series where we go back and play all the zombies games and maps that I've missed out on throughout the years. And in our last video, we held a vote in our Discord in Tag Dare Toten 1, so today we're playing Tag Dare Toten for the very first time. Damn, this is probably like the best view that you get at the start of a game. I haven't moved at all, look at this. That's beautiful, that's insane. Anyways, in that cutscene, it looked like we were the Victus crew, like everybody that was in those little like chambers on blood of the dead and they've been uh released they've been uh, awoken one might say and they sat they had a campfire with all like the other crews it was pretty cool and i have no idea what we're doing here this kind of looks like call of the dead oh wait is this call of the dead there's snow and there's a lighthouse it has to be does it have the cold effects from call of the dead it looks like it my screen's freezing up so far from everything i've seen from bo4 has completely shattered my expectations of the game and you know, there's public perception of this game, everything I've heard of it. Like every map so far besides maybe Voyage has been just really, really good. Oh wait, there's power here. That's easy. So I, I hope this map can just continue that trend of the maps just being pretty good. Where do we go first? Do we go through the floating debris or through this door into this hut? I'm gonna go floating. Get on my way, debris. Looking like a parkour type map just to stay out of the water. Oh, we got our first perk over here and a spooky cave. Why is there a red X on this? Can I open this? Can I shoot it? It does not look like it does anything when I shoot it with this. Probably with the map's wonder weapon, it'll work. Can I, is there swimming in this? Please don't say there's swimming. Let's see. Oh my God, there is. And it's freezing. Why would you ever even attempt to swim in this water? Oh, this looks, yeah, this has to be just call of the dead, right? This area looks stupid familiar. Isn't the old spawn room right over here? Yeah, that's where we used to spawn. Okay, so this is Call of Dead. There's no directors here, though. Snowballs. I can pick up snowballs. Give me those. And then there's Pack-A-Punch. We probably have to melt that. Eat a snowball. What does it do? I get 30 points for each snowball. That's kind of fun. And I can freeze the zombie. Do they stay there? Nope, they go away. Why are you on fire? You need me to put you out, pal? Do snowballs not put you out? Oh, we get a bonus points for putting them out. So if we see a zombie on fire... If we put them out with a snowball, we get power-ups. That's sick. Oh, and we get a part. Give me that. They give us dynamite. All right, let's open this door up. Oh, here's the vault. Are they in here? I never got too far in Call of the Dead the first time I put it. That was before I really, uh, like, started doing everything on the map. I would just play it a few times and see how far I got, and I wouldn't really watch any guides for some reason. I need to go back and do this map, but the OG group was stuck in here before. Okay, give me double points, please. Oh, that one gave me double points. This guy gave me a part. Uh-uh. Who's hitting me? Knock that off. Is this a workbench? It is. We have two parts so far for something. What the hell is this? Not yet available. Okay. Let's open this up. Someone's singing in here. All right, let's clear this and move up. I'm assuming they're up top. Bring me the blue rock from the cave. You do that, and I can help you survive, huh? It's in a cave, huh? He said, bring me the blue rock from the cave. Do that and I'll help you survive. Okay. Now we have a dog round. I wonder if it's actually dogs this time. Yep. It definitely is. All right. Let's head down now. Probably going to just buy this. Take a swordfish. Is the box down here? I should just hit the box. Yes, it is. All right. We'll hit the box one time. We'll get rid of our Essex. Even though it has sex in the name, we got to switch it out. What is this? The Reaver? Is this a crossbow? <laughs> this thing looks sick. But we don't even get to use it right now because we got an insta kill. So I'm just gonna knife all these bad boys real quick. Oh, there's another fire zombie. That probably has our last part. Whatever part he's got, I want. A little warm there, buddy. Let me cool you down. Go ahead, drop the part. Thank you. Is that all of them? Yeah, we can build something. I remember seeing a crafting bench. Let's go to that. Right here. What can we make? Additional parts required. Well, then what the hell is it for? All right. Uh, let's take this door. Is this where we've already been? Nope. There's the slide. No, no knocking. Ooh, very low. We should probably use the swordfish right now. There's a lot of zombies. Oof. Oh, and double points. Get the hell out of my way. Okay, we're back at spawn now. I recognize the other side of this door. We'll open this and that. But we're going to go this way because the zombie's kind of being a dick. All right, well, we're at old spawn. That looks like something we can pick up. A cauliflower. All right, well, he said I need to get a stone from a cave, so I'm got to check every cave. We'll go in here. Do the zombies come down from the ceiling from here still? Don't look like it. This is a very gorgeous map, though. There's so much color. Like, it's a snowy map, but they know how to do the contrast. The sky is purple and blue. Lighthouse is red. 
All these rocks are glowing blue. There's a lot of fire everywhere. Such a good looking map. I actually am really liking this crossbow. It's not bad. At least in these early rounds, it's not. And a perk. Gotta turn on the power for that to work though. And the power switch, I'm assuming, is up there still. All right, open this up. Throw on power. Are you leading me? It's Nikolai. What's up, Nikolai? Oh! Electric zombies, uh-uh. All right, we're gonna need some extra help. I'm grabbing Blood Wolf Bite. Wait, what is this? Take a quick part. Can I put it on here? Yep. Let's crank this into position. What does that even do? Oh, do I just have to keep doing it? Oh, I have to hold it. I'm an idiot. I just keep tapping it. All right, well, let's try zip lining. Woohoo! Okay. Sick nasty. Still need to find something to get this guy to point his thing right at that. What's up with this rock over here? Does this lead to anything? Just a little pool for whatever reason. Is this Pack-A-Punch here too? It has the Pack-A-Punch silhouette. I've also only seen two of my, my four perks. Can I slow this guy down with a snowball? Cause he's fucking on my ass. Don't take that out of context. There we go. Slow down, bucko. You can't just leave one zombie anymore. Dude is just sprinting after me constantly. Okay, fuck off. Jeez, why are they so fast? Oh, what is this? Sam, Eddie, Beast, and Fluffy. And then there's a chest here that we can open up eventually, I'm assuming. And another one. These look like shadows of evil symbols. Oh, I'm fucking dead. No, damn it. Um, we can't use that zip line. Is there another zip line I can take to get out of here? Yep, this one. Let's go. We're out of here. The zombie zip line after me? What the fuck? Who's teaching these guys this? Oh shit, if we kill the electric zombies in the water, it shocks the rest of them. Or at least that's what it looked like. I think the zombies are a lot slower when I have just more than one of them. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Let's try to figure some shit out. There's red particles over here, whatever those mean. Oh, a campsite. Someone's been eating here and playing chess. Is this openable? Thank you. Oh, that's what the red orb is. What the hell? That is crazy. Hold on. Oh, here's another perk. We got time slip. What the hell's going on in here? What do I do to this? I shoot it, nothing happens. There's all these things on the ground. People are just frozen in time. We're still missing one perk. I don't know where it is. Oh, here's another workbench. Oh, we can craft a dynamite bomb there. There's the blueprints. Zombie. Fuck off for a minute while I craft this. Now, what does this do? I'm gonna try putting the dynamite bomb on a uh, pack-a-punch over here. Nope. Looks like there's no way for me to do it. And okay, now what to do with this dynamite? What's something that looks like it could be blown up? Oh no, I'm completely out of ammo. Can I throw fire in the water? I can. Fuck you, physics. And okay, maybe we go this way through the map. Anything look like it needs blowing up? Oh, this literally just leads me back to the box. I'm so lost. I have no idea what's going on. I feel like I've missed a good part of the map if I haven't seen stamina up yet. That's like the worst part about playing a new zombies map is when I don't know what to do or where to go. And I feel like only one part of what I'm looking for is missing. And I just feel like I completely gloss it over every time I'm near it. Like, I don't know how to progress. Start challenges for this location. He said he set up some challenges to see how much he can trust us. Oh, here's a shield part. Oh, I haven't done the parkour area. I was talking about it earlier and I just didn't even do it. Kill enemies while standing in freezing water. Okay, we can do that. All right, well, let's stand in freezing water. Let's kill zombies. Can I put on the X? Oh, I can. That's what it's for. I thought I think I saw something else with an X on it too. Should I take out all of our hellhounds in the frozen water? This dog's stuck. Should I just leave it? Oh, it blew up on its own. Okay, well. Let's go check out our new area. Okay, so we no longer have that bomb. There's another campsite here. Anything we can pick up? Not looking like it. It's a coral reef though. And this looks like warm water. Do I freeze in this? Oh, I do a little bit actually. But we're on a new area of the map. Here's the other side of that air that uh orb area. Uh oh, and I cornered myself. Oh, I don't have my special ability thing. Shatter frozen zombies. Okay, so I just got a snowball. Do they freeze better in the water? Oh, okay. So we got that challenge done already. Play Hermit's favorite tune on the bells of the docks. What the? F okay, so it's like kill zombies here. Kill zombies this way. All right, now play a song. What? So I'm assuming at the docks, there's some bells and we can either knife or shoot them. We have to do it in like some specific order. And I feel like that's where the challenges end for me because I will not be able to finish that. Oh no. Let me just drink my temporal gift as I die. All right, well, I got, yeah, I figured some stuff out, but I'm gonna go watch a guide, uh, get a little more information. I'll come back to you guys when I have some more knowledge. I've officially watched a guide. I have way more knowledge than I did before. And I now know 
Now, this whole facility up here, you can actually go to. What is blocking me off here? What? That's so weird. That zombie spawn just moved me over. But anyways, I know how to get Pack-A-Punch now. There's also an item on here. Uh, I think it's like Max's music box or something like that. It kind of works like a monkey bomb, at least from what I saw, that uh, we're going to try to get today. Uh, also, there is a version of the Thunder Gun on here called the Tundra Gun, which is just all frozen Thunder Gun. So we're going to try to get that as well. And there's also not just Pack-A-Punch, but there's Golden Pack-A-Punch. So we're going to try to get all those things. And then if we get those all, I'll go back to the guide and see if there's anything more we can get. I'm almost positive there is. But we're just going to try to knock those things out first. Let's go for our other shield part. Is it over here? New. No. What about over here? Yep. Give me that. Oh, yeah. And also, since there is the Tundra gun, uh, I went ahead and threw on PhD Slider because apparently it does splash damage to you. So I don't I don't want to be hurting myself here. I already have a hard enough time playing with my small brain. All right. So now we're going to open up the lighthouse. Give me my dynamite part. Thank you, sir. I'm going to try to get as much done as possible before we start advancing the rounds. So I was having such a hard time getting anything done with one zombie behind me chasing me. They're just way too fast. But our other shield spawn has a chance to be on any of these lighthouse floors. I'm pretty sure. So it was on the first or second floor. It's got to be up here. Oh, it's right here. Give me that. We can open this up and go ahead and build our shield. Get it pretty early, actually. Round three. Not bad. And while we're in this room, we actually have George Romero's glasses here. RIP Big Dog. You can grab these. And it gives us 500 points. Basically, the founder of zombies. We don't need to go all the way to the top yet because we don't have the rock. And I figured out that the rock is actually in that cave, but you just have to shoot it down. It wasn't just an item on the ground. We can come on over here. And I think it's this. Yeah, let's grab that. And now we have all of our dynamite parts. We'll save that for later. But for right now, let's get this opened up. Go talk to our hermit. Send that down. Thank you, sir. Oh, no. Get back, zombie. All right, there you go. Enjoy. Okay, now he's just telling us that we need to go ahead and turn on all the powers. For every power switch, there's one there. And there's one all the way up in this facility that we got to get to. And this box, there's actually a Wonder Wolf on there. Or a Wonder Wolf, or whatever you call it. But we need to do some tasks for this guy. We need to find like an icicle, shoot that down, and then melt it in one of those camp spots that we found earlier. And then we need to use that key, bring it to the facility, grab another part, bring that part to the hermit, and then he'll give us a key to open up that chest. So it's a little bit of a uh, like uh, a mission to grab it, but it's a free Wonder Wolf, so we might as well grab it. You know, once we get the funds for it. I'm pretty sure the key's right here. We shoot that down. We grab that. Power number two is on, and we just need one more all the way up there. But for now, we have Pack-A-Punch open. We also need to grab this gearbox and go ahead and give it to our uh, hermit to fix. And that's where Golden Pack-A-Punch is. Now, where's our crank part at? Oh, there it is. This thing is dirty. Just like that uh, other thing I picked up. What? He really just said that thing is girthy? Just like, uh, um, uh, come on, dude. We can throw it on here. Rotate our crank. There we go. Let's take it down. Later, zombies. Oh, yeah, wait, I forgot. You guys can use that. Here is our gearbox. Go ahead and fix that. It's going to take him a minute to fix that. So I need to get another weapon. And I need to go ahead and make my way to the other side of the ship to find that gearbox. Or not that gearbox, that crank, rather. All right, give me this ICR. Thank you. There's our other crank. We'll take that. We can toss it on here. Rotate that crank. And one thing we forgot to do earlier is put our icicle in the pot. And now that'll just take a few minutes to melt. So we'll have it do that. And we should probably wait until it's done melting until we go to the facility. For now, I'm going to go ahead and try to find where that workbench was. Oh, it's right here. We'll make our dynamites. We have that ready to go. Thank you. Or do I still need to grab the gearbox back from this guy? Because last time he just gave me the handle. Oh yeah, here it comes. Tommy's back up for a minute. There's our gearbox. Is our icicle done melting? Looks like it. Give me that key. And let's go ahead and replace the gearbox on our launch pad. There we go. All right, well, now that we got our key, let's go ahead and zip line to the facility. I'm out of here. There we go. And now we can put our dynamite there. And I think we have to replace this gearbox too. We just need to turn power on for over here first. So this was the part of the map we were missing before. That's a huge part of it. I'm pretty sure there's a perk over here too. And let's go ahead and throw on that switch. And now we have power on everywhere. And we can go to Golden Pack-A-Punch if we so choose. But I probably need some money first. But the very least we can do is collect the part for it. It should be somewhere in this room. 
There's our key card. And you know what? I will do the Maxis music box thing. I think it'll help us. We can grab that gear box. We'll bring it back to our dude. Actually, let's look for the, our, our other punch card first. And our other punch card's right there. So we have both our punch cards now. There's Speed Cola, our stamina up. Let me zip line out of here. Hermit, lower your little raft thing. I got another gear box to give you. There you go, buddy. Oh no, please. There you go. I'm out of here. Good luck with that, Hermit. I'm flying away. And before we start up the Maxis music box, we have to find this safe. Now, where is it? Pretty sure it's over here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Put the key in. And then we need to fill this little thing up in the safe with about 20 souls. There we go. Oh, damn. There's a lot of zombies here still, actually. We can get this thing filled up. And now we can pick that up. We'll go give that to our little Hermit later. But for now... We're going to go up here and put in our key cards. So there's one. There's two. Give it a second. And now it's good to go. Give me those back. I'm going to be really indecisive today. And I'm about to go all the way back to the hermit. Come on, give me that gearbox, please. There you go. And here you go. Take that. The Vril device. There we go. We got our reward crate key. Let's throw it in here. Zombies, please let me get it. There we go. There's our wonder waffle. Let me grab it, please. Please. Thank you. Ooh, it looks nice on this as a scope. Look at this thing. That's beautiful. Now that we have that, I think doing Max's music box is going to be a lot easier. And now we can come down here. We'll throw this on. Actually, let's go ahead and use our Wonder Waff really quick. I should have probably got Dying Wish before I came here, actually. That would have been smart. So this is what happens when I watch a guide. I have so much like new information that I can't remember to do the basic stuff. It fills up my brain storage. All right, let's get this open. Insert the key. Insert the key on that side. Grab that double points. We'll use our temporal gift. Probably should have used that first. And let's open the vault. So now we're going to be locked in here for, I don't even know, like two minutes or something. And now we have our Maxis music box. Let's go. So that'll replace our nade for the rest of the game, I'm pretty sure. But we can still go ahead and grab snowballs if we need to. And we might as well just go get golden pack a punch right now. We definitely got enough money, or at least I hope so. I hope it's only 5,000 and it gives you all the rewards. I think we just got to stand right over here. No, we have to stand up top and stand right here, I think. Maybe. Or maybe it's at the very top. Oh, yeah, it's right up here. I need to fix this gearbox first. I shouldn't. Or is it not open anymore? Do I have to wait for him to put the light back on it? Sir, if you could. I would like to go to Golden Pack-A-Punch, please. Sir? Does it move every round? Bro, it's really going to make me wait. I don't know if I, mi I missed the boat on getting Golden Pack-A-Punch. Or if I can still get it. Also, anywhere but here. I'm out of here. Ooh, perfect. But while we wait for him to shine his light on it, we're going to go ahead and try to get some perks. Is he lighting up golden pack now? I'm going. I'm running. Oh, but I'm broke now. Why you got to do it when I'm broke, dude? You know, let's just go over there. Fuck it. What's up, golden pack a punch? This thing's beautiful. That's nice, dude. Oh, and this got they got music out here. Well, if we got music, better bring out the music box. Go get a Maxis. Look at that. She lifts every zombie in the vicinity and just fucks them up. And she gives us a double points. We'll take those. Do we even get points over here? No. That sucks, actually. All right, Maxis. Give it another go. I think you gave us points when you went. There we go. Oof. So Maxis can give us enough points. That's perfect. Give me that insta-kill. Let's throw our ICR in the Pack-A-Punch machine. The golden Pack-A-Punch machine, I should say. Grab it back. Ooh, look at this Pack-A-Punch camo. It's icy as hell. Literally. Okay, it took a second for me to be able to put my cam back on. There's so much going on over here. This is sick. I'm loving this map. I want to try to get the, the Wonder Wolf pack too. So we can use that up until we can get our uh, Tundra. Oh, no. Oh, it sent us back. Later, golden pack. Oh, look at this thing again while we have a second. This is amazing. Look at it in the air beautiful did you ever give us our gearbox back mister sir do we ever even give him the gearbox i don't even remember please don't knock me please don't knock me please don't knock me i'm out of here zip line go Ooh, that's so stupid i almost just died there it wasn't let me take the zip line i put this back is it fixed mm, okay well i'm down now that's fun and it's still gonna launch me can I still break the box while I'm down? I can. Let's go. That's another thing. I need to launch on the right side, the middle, and the left side to get all these parts. For I don't remember, actually. I don't remember what those parts are for, but I know I need them for something. All right, let's try taking the middle now. We're out of here. Right about now. Sorry about that box. Give me that part. And look how gorgeous this is over here. Oh, my God. Now we take this one. Please hit the box. Let's go. 
Give me that. Oh, I remember what this is for now. That is for the heating pad or pot or bag or whatever. So if we go find a crafting bench, we can go put that together and then we can uh, be warmer in the water for longer. If that makes sense, we just won't freeze as easy, I guess. And I think we'll be able to move faster in the water too. So that'll be a, a huge positive here. Let me try to find a crafting bench. Here's a crafting table. Okay, let's make that. Give me the heat pack. Now what else do we do? Okay, I'll go back to watching the guide. Almost completely forgot about the tundra gun. So we're gonna grab some snowballs here and we're gonna throw one right at this target. There we go. Make our way over here. Go down this zip line. Throw our next one right there. We're head down over here, up the stairs, and we need to get over to our power switch, which is right here. Did I hit it? There we go. We'll take this over to the lighthouse. Launch me. It'll be right behind this pole here. Now we're gonna head all the way up. Zip line over to here. And then once we drop down, our first one should be right here over the box oh please what ding did i do it too slow i think i did it too slow huh. we're all the way on the last one and we messed it up all right let's try that again and i'm out of snowballs so i have to do it again please work come on no way am i missing one i'm watching the guide again all right moment of truth did i actually do it this time there we go. We did it. Give me the Tundra gun. Bring that thing here. Thank you. Wonder Waffle, you can just soak in the water. Actually, that's probably not safe for me, but I'd rather use this. I've never used one of these before. I want to see if we can get this thing Pack-a-Punch too. Can it be Pack-a-Punch? Oh, it can. Let's go. Woohoo! The Boreas Blizzard? It looked basically the same as it did prior to getting Pack-a-Punch, but let's group these zombies up. See how it looks. Night, night. Oh, I completely missed the guys in front of me, but I got the guys behind me. Oh my God, it froze them solid. You guys can get frozen too. I think I've done basically everything I wanted to do. So let's try to get our perks and go to as a high round as we can. Now, let me try to find a spot that I feel comfortable training at. I think probably spawn or like old spawn. That way I can always buy some ammo for my ICR right here. And we have a chance for pack a bunch to spawn over here or like melt. But uh, I think uh, crowd freeze kind of fits the map. So we might just stick with it. How many kills can the Maxis music box get in one throw? I have a decent amount of zombies right here. Help me out, Maxis. Oh, literally all of them. That's crazy. That's almost like a guaranteed power up. And we got Luna out of that. I might be stuck on round 20. There's no zombies anywhere. I can hear one like in the distance, but I don't know where. Where are you, buddy? Sounds like he's like under us or maybe above us. I just know he's close to here. He sounds very close to this spot. I'm so lost. Where are you? Are you underneath the ship? Zombie? Hello? It sounds like it's over here, but I don't see it. Hold on, let me turn up the volume. It sounds like it's right here. Is it stuck underneath this? I didn't see anything change. It's not in the air. It's just birds. This is so weird. I've never had a problem like this before. All right, now it sounds like I'm right next to him. It's right here. I'm like walking into it. Oh, it hit me. Oh, it's electric zombie. It's just invisible. I can't shoot it. It's moved to here now. Oh, I can knife it. Oh, there it is. We got it. I have never seen that happen. We just had an invisible zombie. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty tired. I don't know if I can keep recording. So what I'm going to do is have the, the guy in the lighthouse take me out. That's all yours, pal. There you go. Do I not take any damage? Is that what dying wishes? I just don't take any damage for a bit. There we go. But there you have it. There's my final stats. 1,000 kills, almost 400 headshots. I mean, 300... 56 not bad two downs that last one there that was just for our lighthouse dude but i really enjoyed this map it really makes me want to go back and play call of the dead and see everything that i missed out on uh, i did play the map before but i didn't do it with a guide or anything so there's a lot of stuff on the map that i didn't see so maybe sometime in the future we'll go back and play that but overall the map's pretty cool there's a lot of fun stuff on there you can get like two free wonder weapons which is amazing the map looks beautiful like every part of the map basically it's got that nice sunset 
the sky and everything, the huge contrast of colors, even on just like a winter wonderland. It's just a really cool map. I like it a lot. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start subscribing, put out all kinds of content throughout the week. But that's going to be it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.